Welcome to an introduction to the mathematical proof method of proof by contradiction. There might be statements which really cannot be rephrased as implications. For example, the square root of two is irrational. In this case, it is hard to know where to start. What can we assume? Well, say we want to prove the statement P. What if we could prove that if not P, then Q, where Q was false? If this implication is true and Q is false, what can we say about not P? It must be false as well, which makes P true. Remember, the implication if P then Q is false only when P is true and Q is false, which indicates if the implication if not P then Q is true when Q is false, then not P must be false, which makes P true. This is why proof by contradiction works. If we can prove that not P leads to a contradiction, then the only conclusion is that not P is false, so P is true. That's what we wanted to prove. In other words, it is impossible for P to be false. P must be true. Let's look at the proof of the square root of two is irrational using proof by contradiction. Because we're using proof by contradiction, we suppose the square root of two is not irrational, meaning square root two is rational. Then square root two is equal to a fraction in the form of a over b. Without loss of generality, we will assume the fraction a over b is in lowest terms or simplified. Otherwise, simplify the fraction. So we can say that the square root of two is equal to a over b. From here, we can square both sides of the equation, which gives us the square of the square root of two equals the square of the fraction a over b. Simplifying, we have the equation two equals a squared over b squared. Multiplying both sides of the equation by b squared, we have two b squared equals a squared. Thus, a squared is even since a squared is a multiple of two, and as such, a is even. So a is equal to two k for some integer k. Squaring both sides of this equation gives us a squared equals four k squared. And now using the equation two b squared equals a squared, and a squared equals four k squared, by performing substitution, we can form the equation two b squared equals four k squared. Again, to form this equation, we substitute four k squared for a squared in the equation two b squared equals a squared. Next, dividing both sides by two, we have b squared equals two k squared. Thus, b squared is even, and as such, b is even. Since a is also even, we have that the fraction a over b is not in lowest terms or simplified, which we assumed at the beginning, which gives us a contradiction. Thus, the original statement must be true that the square root of two is irrational and the proof by contradiction is complete. I hope you found this helpful.